What's up, guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day over here at the Soho Lasco C3 instrument monitoring the sun. This spacecraft has been monitoring the sun and solar flares like you saw right there with a, a CME that was Earth-directed. Should be here in less than 24 hours. Been doing this since 1998. So this is an incredible spacecraft showing us a lot of things over the years. And I'm wondering if this increase in solar activity has something to do with a, a string of events that have occurred here recently in the last 72 hours. Looking at the GOES X-ray flux for the last 72 hours, you can see there's been an increase in solar activity, a strong M-class solar flare occurring here in the last six hours. Looking at the Earth-facing side of the sun, just absolutely loaded with sunspots and active regions. This active region right here is primed for possible X-class solar flares. And looking at the Parker spiral, you can see the CME headed towards the Earth. The Earth is the, the green dot right there. I don't think this one's going to miss. It's anticipated arrival time sometime on the, the 24th, very early in the morning. We could see an outbreak of, of possible auroras around the world. Here's a look at the, the ionosphere, and you can see it reacted almost instantly from the shock wave that was sent throughout the entire solar system as this was what they call a full halo right there, CME, that goes in all directions. And they're talking about the strong storm over here here at spaceweather.com. Something just exploded on the far side of the sun and it managed to touch the Earth. Debris from the blast emerged from the, the full halo CME shown here in a movie from the Soho Lasco C3 instrument. Shockwaves, as you can see, emitted from the sun going in all directions, accelerating protons, what they're calling hard protons. And typically when these hard protons interact with the Earth and the satellites that orbit the Earth, they're very good at charging spacecraft bodies, fogging their cameras, and causing onboard computer reboots. Which brings me to my next segment. What if this shockwave of, of hard protons that have been interacting with the Earth, what if this increase in strong solar activities had something to do with the recent string of airplane crashes in the last 72 hours? There have been three planes go down, one in Wisconsin, one in Ohio, one in New York, 800 miles apart, 72 hours, three plane crashes. We're going to start with the most recent one out of New York. A small plane crashed shortly after takeoff from New York. A single-engine Beechcraft Bonanza took off from MacArthur Airport in New York at 6.15 p.m. last night. That would be on Monday. And going from New York over to Wisconsin, this event occurred on Monday as well, Monday afternoon, right before the event in New York. There was another plane that went down in a in a field in Wisconsin. Unfortunately, there were, were two fatalities. They don't know what caused the, the plane to go down Monday afternoon, going from Wisconsin to Ohio. This event occurred on Friday the 19th. Plane crash near Ohio Airport. There were three fatalities. A plane trying to make an emergency landing at an airport in northeastern Ohio was unable to make the landing. This was a Beechcraft 60. Went down at 6.45 p.m. on Friday. The plane in New York went down at 6.15 on Monday, and the plane in Wisconsin went down on Monday afternoon. So if you look at the map, you consider all of the, the very strong solar activity that we've had here recently. And if you put all of these together on a map, this is what it looks like. Three crashes, 800 miles apart in less than 72 hours, actually. Strange coincidence? I would say so. And it makes you wonder. You have to ask the question, could all of this energy somehow influence aircraft equipment? Just maybe, I don't know. Sometimes when these strong storms affect radio communications in the upper latitudes of the Earth, I've often wondered if they could influence aircraft instrumentation, quite possibly onboard computers. After all, they can cause onboard computers of satellites to reboot. So it just makes you wonder. There has been an increase in solar activity here the, the last 72 Two hours, and there's been an increase in airplane incidents also in the last 72 hours. Is it just a coincidence, or is there something else at play here? Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.